Gasagami High Gym. You attended basketball practice. Your diligence has increased. All right. Okay, the balls have been polished. The floor has been mopped. Let's grab some grub. I'm down for some Aya. How do you always pop up when we start talking about food? All right, let's get changed and head over to Aya. Whoa. Oh damn, I forgot I can't. What? What are you arguing with yourself about? Sorry. Sorry, I just remembered some personal stuff I've got to take care of. You two go on ahead. Sorry, guys. Uh, today's the day he goes before the almighty house of Ichijo. Hmm. Well, I guess it wouldn't hurt if I told you. In fact, I could use your help. Daisuke looks serious. You head to Aya to listen to what Daisuke has to say. About Ko, Daisuke slowly begins to open up. I don't really like talking behind his back like this, but I want you to help him out. Just tell me how. Thanks, man. It's about Ko's family. He lives by himself, but his parents' place is like right next door. Once a week or so, he drops by there like he did today. His family is, what's the word I'm looking for? Distinguished, very traditional, very strict. You'd never know just by looking at him though. The head of the Ichijo family is Ko's grandma. They follow her orders like she's the law. Problem is, the old crone doesn't approve of him playing basketball. She calls it barbaric. But it's just a sport. Hmm. Well, according to her, there are sports that are proper and those that aren't. He's been forced to quit a lot of things since he was a kid. But not basketball. He can't give this up. So I want you to help him out. What can I do? All you have to do is show up at practice. He's been really psyched ever since you joined. You're all he talks about. I'm glad I can rely on you. You sense Daisuke's trust in you. After worrying about Ko with him, you feel your relationship with the pair has grown deeper. This one's on me, so eat up, man. Uh, I used up my allowance. Hey, how about some Zachai? Those are good. You talked with Daisuke for a while about school. You decided to go home after saying goodbye. Nanako looks as if she's not doing anything. Since you have Archangel, blah blah blah, you feel your relationship is stronger, blah blah blah. Yeah! Nanako is pacing back and forth restlessly. Dad's late again today. Hello, Dojima residents. Dad! Huh? Really? Yeah! Okay. Okay, I understand. Dad's coming home now. <laughs> I need to get dinner ready. Nanako is in high spirits. We're out of pickled radish. Dad'll be disappointed. Let's go buy some together. Really? Thank you! Thanks, big bro. <laughs> We're going shopping together. 
Nanako looks happy. You feel Nanako's affection for you and that your relationship with her has grown deeper. You went to Junae's with Nanako. A while later at the house. I'm back! Dad, welcome home. Where did you go at this time of night? Oh, uh, Junae's. Didn't I tell you not to go outside this late? But, but you were coming home, so I... No matter what the reason was, rules are rules. You promised me, remember? Nanako looks sad. It's not Nanako's fault. Oh, I don't have enough courage to say that. I don't have enough expression to say that. Why are you apologizing? You didn't do anything wrong. I... I didn't do... anything. Nanako looks ready to cry. Dad, stupid. Stupid, stupid. Nanako, how dare you call your father stupid? You explained to Dojima why you went with Nanako to Junaeus. Tickled radish? For me? <sighs> Is that so? But I still can't allow kids to be walking around this late at night. You know how dangerous it's been lately. You shouldn't be wandering around out there at night either. Dojima yelled at you too. You decided to go back to your room. Hey everyone, they posted the test results. Oh, finally. Ah, the awful moment of truth. Oh well, wanna check it out? We decided to check out the test results. I've been waiting forever for this. Your score was in the top 10. Hell yeah! Wow, nice. Good going, Josh. You're so smart. Your social link friends seem to be congratulating you. You feel that you became slightly closer to your school friends. Yeah, I'm smart. Nanako seems troubled. Um, we are growing veggies at school. The teacher gave us seedlings and told us to try growing them at home. I asked Dad, and he said I could plant them wherever I want. I don't know where's good, though. It seems Nanako wants to grow vegetables. You recall that there is an open plot of land on the side of the house. You may be able to set up a simple garden there. Is that part of the Dojima property? The place next to the house? Mm-hmm. We don't use it, but it's our yard. Is that where we're gonna plant the seedlings? Is this where we're gonna plant the seedlings? Was someone plan planning to fix up this yard? There are tools around here you think you can use. You should be able to make a nice garden with these. You use the tools here to make a garden. Your diligence has increased. You planted the tomato seedlings together with Nanako. Do you think the veggies will grow? They will if we work hard. Mm-hmm. I'll do my best to take care of them. Hey, I want to make a sign. 
No one will know what we planted until the veggies grow. I gotta write down that there are veggies growing here. All right, let's make one. Yay, thanks. You put up the sign you made with Nanako next to the garden. The sign is small, but it makes for a perfect finishing touch. We did it! I'll be in charge of watering the plants. I'll help too. Okay. We planted them together, so we should grow them together too. Nanako seems happy. If a lot of veggies grow, will our house be like Juness? <laughs> no. No, Nanako, it won't. <laughs> I can't wait! There are seedlings planted in the garden. You should check on them frequently until it's time to harvest them. Oh! I didn't see you. I don't see you here very often. It seems Yukiko has some free time. I feel your relationship with Yukiko is going to become closer soon. Will you spend the day with Yukiko? Yes. Yukiko looks happy. In front of Yomanaido Bookstore. It seems Yukiko has bought a book about job certifications. <laughs> Thank goodness, that was the last one. Sensei recommended this book to me because it has details on a bunch of different job licenses. Sensei? Mm. The career counselor? I asked him for advice sometimes. Nikiko seems a bit embarrassed. Inside the TV, the other me said she didn't want to inherit the end. I think those were my true feelings. So I decided to be a little more true to myself. I... I refuse to inherit the Amagi Inn. When I graduate, I'm leaving this town. I said it. <laughs> I said it. Haha. <laughs> Yukiko has a refreshing smile on her face. So, in order to live on my own, I'm thinking of getting a job license. I was thinking of something along the lines of an interior decorator. What do you think? Sounds good. Yes! It's cool, isn't it? But it's hard. It costs money to get a license. And, of course, I can't tell Mother. If only there was a part-time job I could do discreetly. You remember that there are part-time jobs posted on the bulletin board at the shopping district. Really? I'll go check the board then. It seems you're able to help Yukiko. Touched by Yukiko's spirit, you feel your relationship has grown deeper. Yukiko's growth apart has affected her persona as well. Mudo. Thank you for keeping me company today. I was a bit nervous about telling the others how I feel, but I think I'll be alright. I'll see you later. You parted with Yukiko as she headed towards the bulletin board and went home. Welcome back. I hear you and Nanako set up a little garden. Well, if you're gonna start something, make sure you do it right, okay? I'll help you out a bit when I can. <laughs> we made an amazing garden. Thanks, big bro. Let's keep taking care of it together.
Five days, okay. Chune's grocery department. Yikiko brought you here. <sighs> Why are there so many different types of food? Even eggs come in so many varieties. On an errand? Hmm. For some reason, they never asked me to buy ingredients. Yikiko is tilting her head. I was just thinking of practicing my cooking. Since I've decided to leave town, eating out all the time is bad for you, right? So I'm going to get some practice while I can. Good luck. Yes. Oh yes, I was thinking that maybe you could taste test my food sometime. I want someone to eat it and let me know how it is. I thought I'd improve quicker that way. And knowing you, I'd get an honest opinion. But will you? Count me in. I don't have enough courage for count me in, okay. I don't mind. <laughs> really? Thank you. When I obtained the power of Persona, I thought I can do it. I used to think I couldn't do anything on my own, but maybe I really can. I depended on others up until now, but from this point on, I want others to depend on me. I'll do my best. You can send Yukiko's iron will. You feel your bond with Yukiko has grown yet stronger. Yukiko can now perform a follow-up attack during battle. Hmm. Now then, um... Where did they sell lobsters? Oh, God. no! No, 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 no! 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 You're a new cook, you don't make lobster. I'll see you later. You helped Yukiko with her shopping and went home. Sag Samagawa Floodplain. Yukiko handed you a homemade box lunch. Um... It came out well, so I packed it up. Try it out. It looks normal. For some reason, an unusually pugnant smell hangs in the air. Let's eat. You don't have enough courage. <laughs> Did you taste it? N no, I haven't. <laughs> I want you to be the first to try it. She's smiling innocently. She knows she's going to kill me. It seems you have no choice but to eat it. You started with the omelette looking thing. It's actually... So, there's something too hard to bite on inside, and it smells burnt, yet raw. You worry that your body will reject the foreign matter. You were finally able to swallow it. You're not about to tell me how delicious that was, are you? Yukiko looks sad. There's always next time. Thank I, you. I suppose. Thank you. Yukiko seems relieved. Oh, big bro! What are you doing? Nanako! Ah, Nanako-chan. Well, I was just having him try my box lunch. Oh, I want some. I'm sorry, but I can't give you any. It's not good. Oh, if you made a good one, will you let me have some? Mm -hmm. Sure, if you want. Oh. Yay, I'm rooting for you. Nanako chan. Thank you. Thank you. I'll do my best, okay? I need to go now. I'm going to my chan's house. Bye. Be careful. Um, I'm sorry to drag you around. I'm having fun. But really? I'm glad to hear that. You can sense that Yuiko is relying on you to eat her food and die. You feel your relationship has grown deeper. Divine Grace, okay. 
Only about a year left, huh? I need to be able to do anything on my own by then. I'll see you later. He handed Yukio the rest of Yukiko the rest of the box lunch and went home. Surprisingly, you have the ingredients to make sweet and sour pork. You decided to make sweet and sour pork. It's almost finished. How should you make the sauce thicker? Use potato starch. You mix the starch with water and pour it in the pan. It came out perfectly. It looks delicious. Okay, how did Nanako have enough time to go over to Maichan's place and do shopping? She's such a workhorse. Obtain milky sweet and sour pork. Who am I eating sweet and sour pork with? You overhear students talking. I saw a new job posting on the town bulletin board. The daily pay for being a tutor looks really good. Yeah, but don't you need to have more knowledge before anyone would ask you to tutor them? But why would you say that? Anyway, you're wrong. It turns out you need understanding to take the tutoring job. Yeah, but you don't have much of that either. That's not true. I understand everything. Maybe I can start washing dishes at Shiroku Bar. You need understanding there too. Lunch break. You brought your lunch today. Do you wish to eat lunch with someone? Who would you like to invite for lunch? Sweet and sour pork. Who's gonna eat sweet and sour pork with me? Well, he's ready to go already. She's ready to go already. Yukiko may not be. Ko. Ko might be a good choice. Do Ko. You ate lunch with Ko and Daisuke. You ate milky, sweet, and sour pork together. Oh, this is great. You made this yourself? I'm pretty good in the kitchen, but you just showed me what's up. Enjoyed your lunch. You feel that your relationship is going to become closer soon. 